An estimated 1 in 18,000 Americans is living with an inherited genetic condition that can increase their risk of vision loss and skin cancer. In today's HealthCast, we take a closer look at the causes, the treatments, and the impact of albinism. Long before the birth of her three-year-old daughter, Krishante Britton knew she might be a carrier for a genetic condition called oculocutaneous albinism, or OCA. When I had my daughter, I wasn't really too surprised because my sister had already went through that. Krishante recently gave birth to twins, one of whom also does have OCA. It's a mutation in the gene that forms melanin. And it can actually present as a range. So some, some kids you might see, or some adults you might see completely, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes, very light skin. In, and some people might have a more subtle version of that, so it's actually a spectrum. Dr. Luxmi Haraharan, a pediatric ophthalmologist with Nicholas Children's Hospital, says the impact on the eyes is of special concern. They might be very light sensitive. They might have what we call transillumination defects, which is in the iris part of the eye, so that illuminates that there's no pigment there. And then also we found that there's a disconnect or misfiring of the optic nerve fibers and that's where we have you can have decreased vision. Children like Jelani can be helped with special glasses and tools but she may ultimately need surgery to prevent blindness. I have a lot of hope but I have plans on like you know being ahead of myself meaning I'm gonna put her in a school that's gonna teach her braille and everything you know ahead of time you know because you never know. And researchers at the National Institutes of Health have developed the first human-derived stem cell model of albinism to help better develop screenings and therapies for these eye-related conditions.